Colonel Makenga and his rebels have forced the government army from a series of key towns in just a matter of days. Here, they walk through Bunagana on Congo's border with Uganda. Most of the residents left when the fighting started. Those that remain watch in silence. The rebels say they're fighting to make the government uphold a past peace agreement and that they're now prepared to take the regional capital, Goma. The government will determine our next move. If it wants war, we're ready to fight. If they want to talk, we're okay with that too. If it means taking Goma, we are ready to advance there. It depends on the government. In rebel-controlled Bunagana, all that remains of the government positions is piles of discarded weapons. This was a school before it became a military base for government troops. You can still see the remains of the last class that was taught on the blackboard here before all the children left. Now the rebels say that when they attacked, the government troops eventually fled in fear and they've left all kinds of equipment here. There's spent munitions, mess tins, helmets, blankets and a lot of the paperwork that's left behind has written on it the name 42nd Battalion. That's the battalion of the Congolese army that was trained by Belgian special forces it's supposedly one of their strongest units. But under attack, the elite troops ran for their lives. And here they are, just a few kilometers away, in the safety of a Ugandan army camp. They fled over the border where Ugandan soldiers disarmed them. Now they're waiting to be sent back home. In the military, we often call that a strategic withdrawal. Our company faced a superior enemy, so we withdrew to protect our capacity and materials. For now, Colonel Makenga and his fighters have the upper hand. UN experts say they get men and weapons from neighbouring Rwanda, but the rebels deny it. The government here says it'll keep fighting and it won't negotiate. So for the people of Eastern Congo, peace is but a distant dream. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Bunagana in the Democratic Republic of Congo.